Hello and welcome to another video by Day Night Gaming. Now today I'd like to discuss with you a program known as Excel Star Parse. Now as a disclaimer, please keep in mind that this program is not created or maintained by Bioware or Electronic Arts and they do not publicly support this program, so download at your own risk. Now what this program can do is it'll show you in real time while you're playing the game your combat log data. So it can show you your DPS, it can show you your heals per second, your threat per second, but it can also show you your raids information, the other players in your operation and your your group and whatnot, provided that they're in the same raid key as you are. So in order to get this program, uh, you just search up Excel Star Parse and the actual website is ixparse.com. Now I'll put that info in the description below. You go ahead and click that, click that green button and install into whatever uh, document folder or whatnot that you want it uh, to be in. All right. So now before you start the program, make sure you go into your uh, Star Wars game, go into preferences and make sure to go to combat logging and click this on enable combat logging to file. Very important. The program will not work without that. All right, so go ahead and apply. And then, as you can see here, in your uh, documents folder, Star Wars Old Republic in combat logs, uh, every time you log in, it will create a combat log. And that combat log will record every ability that you do, all the damage you do. Even when you activate your speeder, it will record which speeder you opened up. Uh, so there we go. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to open up the program. So let's see. Here we go. This is what it looks like. All right. Now, before we begin. So first, before you do anything, right, uh, let's let's do our overlays first. So I'm going to put in personal stats because I'm a DPS. So I'm going to put raid damage so I can see how everyone's raid damage is going. I'm going to put raid threat. That's very important to me because I want to know what my threat level is versus the tank so I don't actually go over. And then I'm going to put combat timers. All right. Now I'll move on to timers later. But uh, before that, let's do a raid key. So uh, let's create one. Temporary video, that sounds good. Password one, two, three, four, five. Admin six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Uh, and then create group. And then let's see, if whenever I uh, do raid pool, control shift X, 10 seconds, raid break, 15 minutes. Okay, save announcements, everything's good. Now, okay, don't share your admin password with people that you don't know. And if you're streaming or making any videos, be very careful to know that uh, the admin password will show up here. This is the full information. So the name, the password, and the admin password. So if you're streaming or if you're making any videos, be careful to black this out or to make sure that Star Parse is on a different screen. But uh, this is just a temporary key, so I don't mind if people write it down. We'll be deleting it afterwards. All right, so going back to that. Uh, now, let's say you wanted to join a group. You don't want to make one, but you want to join someone else, and they give you the information. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this from the list. So here uh, you would type in the info that they gave you. So they gave you temporary video. That's the name. And the password was one, two, three, four, five. And for some reason, they gave you the admin password too. Okay, cool, whatever. And then join group. All right, there you go. And so now this, uh, you've joined the, the raid group that they've created. Go ahead and close that. All right, now let's, uh, let's see how this works. So you got your training dummy right here, right? Oh, wait. One last thing before I go, uh, make sure you're clicked on here and then click these two green. All right. 
All right, there we go. All right, so now the data is there. So I'm gonna move this off the screen. We're gonna look at using these right here. All right, so. So as you can see there, the data on the top right is logging in. It's about good enough. Alright, so as you can see here, it went up and now I'm not doing anything. Now it's moving down to reflect that my damage per second is dropping. And uh, so it'll show your total damage, all that stuff, how much I've done for the whole raid. Alright, so as you can see here, that's a great set of info. But also on your main program right here, you also have all that, so you have your overview. So I did somewhat damage, then I, it, it, it bottomed out because I stopped doing damage. Right, there you go. Uh, you can see I didn't do any healing at all. I didn't take anything because this doesn't fight back. Uh, all the abilities that I used uh, and everything that happened in the raid, there you go. Uh, damage per second. So it can tell you everything and you can see uh, everything that you fought previously uh, while this raid was open, while you've lo been logged in. So there you go. And if you wanted to, you can open up old logs. So let's say you did a, a boss with one character and then you needed to log into a different character uh, to do a different boss. So your raid or your, your old combat log changed. Uh, and you know after about five hours you want to go back and look at your first combat data from a long time ago uh, So you can open log or open recent and there you go. It'll show you all that stuff All right now. Let's move on to the next thing. That's kind of important is timers now They've already built in some timers like uh, in dread palace best year arrives and all that stuff uh, but you can also make your own which is really nice so here we go. Let's say we're gonna do it for uh, force charge. So name force charge. Uh, when I use it, so ability activated. All right. Uh, for ability, you need to find out the ID number. So you would go into your combat logs. So let's uh, open up that one. Then uh, here we go. Let's see. Does it have it here? Um, no doesn't give me a second let me open one up all right here we go force charge so once you open up your combat log here we go that's uh, the ID number so I'm gonna go and copy that paste it in duration is what 14 seconds I believe 14 uh, cancel on no, let's keep that on display uh, sound, let's use uh, red 5, where is that? Red 5, red standing, five by. standing by. Change the volume. Countdown, 5 seconds. Uh, let's do 14. No, no, let's do... Yeah, let's do 5, that's fine. And we'll have uh, Amy do the sound. 5, 4... Three, right. two, one. Cool, save that. Make sure you activate it on your timers. All right, now let's try this out. So, force charge. There you go, 10 seconds remaining on my timer. Five, Countdown. four, three, two, one. Red five standing by. All right. So there you go. Now you, you can have timer set. So if you're, say if you put any bleeds up on your, you're playing a dot spec or whatnot, uh, you can have that so you can easily maintain your rotation just by hearing uh, audio cues. Maybe you might have a Jawa, the Utini or, or whatever. So there you go. Now, once again, I'm going to go, I'm going to turn off my reading key and my parsing and then I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from let's say you know you're you're probably not gonna play with, with uh, that group anymore because you're like let's say you're you're just pugging them 
you know, you're just uh, joining a random group and they wanted you to join their key and you want to remove it. So you click this to remove from your list and then it won't show up anymore. Now, let's say you want to actually delete your own raid uh, key. Let's say, you know, you're quitting a guild and you don't want to, you know, manage that. I don't know. So you can remove it from the server and this will uh, permanently remove this from the star part server. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So now tempo video no longer exists. And there you go. Uh, there are more things to do like, you know, that, that this program can do like overlay colors and whatnot. And you can go ahead and tinker that however you want. Uh, just make sure in general that you have the correct log directory uh, address for your combat logs. All right, there you go. Hope this video helped and uh, until next time, take care. Goodbye.